Good morning, everyone, and welcome as we join together in prayer and praise of the risen Lord this day. And we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Gathered in the spirit of the risen Lord once more this day, we pause for a moment as we call to mind the difficulties, the struggles, the sins that we have. We bring them before the Lord and we encounter the abundance of his blessing and his grace once more. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again, we earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in unending love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up, and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and, filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area, and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went, and who went did not find them in the prison, so they came back and reported, We found the jail securely locked, and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests heard this report, they were at a loss about them, as to what this would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, The men whom you put in prison are in the temple area, and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The, the Lord, Lord hears the cry of the, of the poor. poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us extol let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, he, and delivered me from all my fears. The, the Lord, Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. The Lord, the Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. In him. The, the Lord, Lord hears the cry of the poor. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, 
so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people prefer darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. the renowned superior generals of the, Sulpici of the uh, Jesuit religious order, Pedro Arupe, once said in writing about love that love defines and determines everything. Meaning to say that love, true, authentic love, as we find it and encounter it and practice it, really has an impact on everything that we do. It impacts the relationships that we have. It, it decides and determines what sorts of actions that we're going to take. It shapes and influences our attitudes and our approaches to life and to everything that we do. And in the end, love is, is the determining, determining factor of everything that we do when we find that love in our lives. It's today in the Gospel that Jesus is talking about love, the love of God, the love of God that is manifest in the event of Jesus Christ, in the sending, the giving of his only begotten Son for the salvation of the world, so that that love might change everything for us, that that love might determine everything for us, that we might receive the eternal life that Jesus has in store for us. For us, we know, though, that as we go on to hear in this passage, that there is darkness in our lives, in our world, that darkness that can prevent and inhibit us from approaching the love of God, from fully embracing and entering into the great love of God in Jesus Christ for us. And yet, nevertheless, we do hear, though, at the end that, of this passage, that light, the light that is God's love, still seeks to break into our darkness, into the, the dark experiences, the dark moments, these dark times that we are experiencing. And it is there that the light of God's love seeks to scatter that darkness, to renew us, and to indeed give us that love that defines everything, that determines everything for us, that leads you and me into the eternal life that God offers us in Jesus. Drawn into the love of God that is shown to us in the risen Lord, we now present to him our prayers and our petitions this day. That church leaders may have a spirit of humility as they serve in Jesus' name, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That political leaders may have the guidance of the Holy Spirit to bear the fruits of peace and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That prisoners may be treated with dignity and restored to right relationship with society upon their release. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this community of believers may be guided by God's grace in all that we say and do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who died believing in Christ may be saved through him and have eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
We pray for James Grove, the special intention of this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those prayers and petitions, all those things that we are holding and carrying within our hearts in these days, we present them now to the Lord in the silence of our hearts. Lord, hear, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Everlasting God of love and mercy, look kindly upon we, your people, who reach out to you with trust, with humility, with faith. We ask that you hear these prayers through Christ, the risen Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, for the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and William our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Glorious Martyrs, with Saint John the Evangelist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now, with the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other now a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the Lamb who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
join together in this prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace this day, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful, blessed, safe day, everyone. We hope to see you, to be with you back tomorrow.